Given that there are millions of living things on planet Earth, as biologists we must classify living things into groups in order to better understand them and manage the enormous wealth of biological information which we have. So how should we classify these organisms into groups? We could make a yellow group, a blue group, a legless group, and an ugly group. And classifying these organisms into those four groups would look like this. Biologically speaking, these are horrible groups. The reason for this is, as biologists, we're looking for groups which help us understand the natural world and help us to order an incredible amount of information. We would like there to be a group like mammals, so that we could study the mammalian brain. And what we learn about one brain would be true of many brains. The vertebrate body plan, the eukaryotic cell, etc. This would make our lives easier and help us understand nature. These groups do not do this because the forsythia and the iris are both flowering plants and share an enormous number of features in common, but they are classified in two different groups. The bluebird and vulture are both birds. They share a great number of features but are classified in different groups. And so these groups have classified organisms which are not related and which share few characteristics in common, these groups give us no predictive ability. And so therefore, as biologists, we are seeking better groups than this. Thus, biologists would prefer to classify these organisms into groups such as these. The bluebird and the vulture would be classified together as birds. Both birds and the snake would be classified together as amniotes. The snake the birds, and the two amphibians, the frog and the legless Sicilian, would be classified together as vertebrates. The vertebrates plus the spider would be classified together as animals, and then all of the individuals here could be classified as eukaryotes. These are biological groups which would have great predictive ability. One could speak of the eukaryotic cell and make statements which are true of all of the eukaryotes or speak of animals, you know, possession of collagen and say something which is true of all of the am animals, or make statements which are true of all of the vertebrates or amniotes or birds. Also note that many of the biological groups form a nested hierarchy of groups within groups. So then amniotes include the group birds and vertebrates includes the group amniotes, etc.